Welcome internet, are you ready for some grease? Today on this bread to loaf mini segment, we're gonna be looking at the grease points on the Chevrolet G30 ambulance. This is the front end, the front suspension, and there are eight grease points on this side and there are seven on the other side for a total of 15 suspension grease points that I have found so far. Now to my knowledge, this ambulance hasn't been greased in a few years at least on any of the front suspension points. So we're gonna go ahead, spend a little bit of time and just get these guys greased up. And if you haven't already noticed, we have no rotor assembly or wheel bearings on the ambulance right now. And that's because we're doing front wheel bearings. But I figured while we have the wheel off, we can go ahead and hit all these grease points because they're very easy to access when the tire is off and the front end is jacked up. So I already spent a little bit of time off camera over the last few days or so, and I was just cleaning off these grease point locations because they were just caked with old grease and dirt like this is right here. I was just cleaning off these locations getting them all wiped down and then putting these rubber zerk fitting caps on them and this just helps get prevent dirt and grease from getting into these fittings for later greasing and it also makes them a lot easier to find when you can see the little caps so to accomplish all this greasing we got this lock and loop pistol grip grease gun now this thing is pretty dang awesome it's got this nice locking coupler here all you got to do is depress this lever unlocks and then you just snap it on the grease fittings and lock it. Got these little jaws that snap on and hold. So you don't have to hold it on there. It does all the work for you. It's got big grips on it, swiveling head, and it holds a ton of grease. So this is my own personal grease gun, but we're going to be using it on the ambulance today to get all those points greased up in the front. And the grease we're going to be using is this Lucas Oil Extra Heavy Duty Grease. It's really meant for heavy-duty trucks, farm equipment, and construction equipment. I think we can consider the ambulance that, so we're going to be using that. It's good in cold weather, high temperature resistance, for moving parts, and it's NLGI rated GCLB, which is the highest rating for chassis wheel bearing grease. I'll throw up a little chart right here to show you what the different ratings are and how this one is the highest, because we only go for the best with the ambulance. So this sort of greasing procedure applies to pretty much any automotive application out there. You're gonna have a standard grease nipple like this on many suspension components. So just remove the cap, like so, set that aside, and do not lose it. Then you got your grease nipple right here. So with a setup like this, it's very easy. Just take your connector, snap it on, it's locked on like that. And then if you have a pistol or pump style grease gun like this, all you gotta do is squeeze this lever continuously. And grease is being pumped in. And how you know it's full is you'll see grease starting to bulge out like this. And that's how you know you're good. I waste a little bit of extra here. I kind of didn't stop in time, but that's the general procedure. What you gotta do is clean up the excess grease that came out. Make sure to also get this grease nipple right there. Get that all clean. And then get your cap, put it back on, and we're done.
Okay, I just got done greasing all the components that I could find on the ambulance. What do you know, there's even shiny metal. Having everything greased is super important. It keeps things from wearing, rusting, and corroding away. And having all these front suspension points greased will go a long way for the longevity of the ambulance. This is just a very easy routine maintenance thing. If you have your tires off like this and you can see all the grease points, might as well just go hit them. You want to do it at least, at least every few years or every time you change your oil is fine too. That's actually recommended, but every at least few years, just get underneath here and do this and your vehicle will last a long time. We should know this thing's been around for over 40 years now and we're hoping for another 40 more. Well, that's it for the grease video. Hope you guys enjoyed, learned a few things. I'm gonna get back to finishing the bearings and we'll get this big machine back on the road. This is Bread Loaf signing off.